got it. How to make money trading for us? I repeat, how to make money trading for us? What is forex trading? Oh, the forex market refers to the global marketplace where banks, institutions, and individuals speculate on an exchange rate between fiat currencies. The forex market is the largest financial market in the world. How does forex trading work? As a forex trader, you are speculating on whether one currency will rise or fall in price against another currency. So forex trading can be defined as the process of speculating on currency prices to try and make a profit. The value of a currency is influenced by economic, political, geopolitical events and trade and financial flows. The placing a trade in the foreign exchange market is simple. The mechanics of a trade are very similar to those found in other financial markets. So if you have any experience in trading, you should be able to pick it up pretty quickly. And if you don't, you'll still be able to pick it up as long as you finish School of Pipsology, our Forex trading course. The objective of Forex trading is to exchange one currency for another and the expectation that the price will change. More specifically, the currency you bought will increase in value compared to the one you sold. And then they have a few examples as to what it looks like to buy or sell a currency for profit or for loss. Okay. An exchange rate is simply the ratio of one currency via against another currency. For example, the USD versus CHF exchange rate indicates how many US dollars can purchase one Swiss franc or how many Swiss francs you need to buy one US dollar. How to read a forex quote. Currencies are always quoted in pairs, such as GBP versus USD or USD versus JPY. The reason they are quoted in pairs is that in every foreign exchange transaction, you are simultaneously buying one currency and selling another. How do you know which currency you are buying and which you are selling? Excellent question. This is where the concepts of base and quote currencies come up. Base and quote currency. Whenever you have an open position in forex trading, you are exchanging one currency for another. Currencies are quoted in relation to other currencies. Here's an example of a foreign exchange rate for the British pound versus the US dollar. So the base currency is GBP. The quote currency is USD. The base currency is always going to be on the left. The quote currency is always going to be on the right. The first listed currency to the left of the slash is known as the base currency. The base currency is the reference element for the exchange rate of the currency pair. It always has a value of one. The second listed currency on the right is called the counter or quote currency. When buying the exchange rate, tells you how much you have to pay in units of the quote currency to buy one unit of the base currency. In the example above, you have to pay 1.21228 US dollars to buy one British pound. When selling the exchange rate, tells you how much units of the quote currency you get for selling one unit of the base currency. In the example above, you will receive 1.21228 US dollars when you sell one British pound. And then we keep on reading. Go. If you buy EUR versus USD, it simply means that you are buying the base currency and simultaneously selling the quote currency. And caveman talk, buy EUR, sell USD. You will buy the pair if you believe the base currency will appreciate relative to the quote currency. You will sell the pair if you think the base currency will depreciate relative to the quote currency. With so many currency pairs to trade, how do forex brokers know which currency to list as the base currency and the quote currency? Fortunately, the way that currency pairs are coded in the forex market is standardized. 
You may have noticed that currencies quoted as a currency pair are usually separated with a slash character. Just know that this is a matter of preference and the slash may be omitted or replaced by a parrot, a dash, or nothing at all. For example, some traders may type EUR versus USD as EUR dash USD or just EUR USD. They all mean the same thing. Oui, oui, that's the way they spell the thing. Long and short. First, you should determine whether you want to buy or sell. If you want to buy, you want the base currency to rise in value, and then you would sell it back at a higher price. In trader talk, this is called going long or taking a long position. Just remember, long equals buy. If you want to sell, you want the base currency to fall in value, and then you will buy back at a lower price. This is called going short or taking a short position. Just remember, short equals sell. Flat or square. If you have no open position, then you are said to be flat or square. Closing position is also called squaring up. <laughs> All right. The bid, ask, and spread. All forest quotes are quoted with two prices, the bid and ask. In general, the BID is lower than the ASK price. Okay? In general, the BID, ID, not BED, okay? In general, the BID is lower than the ASK price. All right? And then it says bid is the buying price. All right? Let's get it. The BID is the price at which your broker is willing to buy the base currency in exchange for the quote currency. This means the BID is the best available price at which you can sell to the market. If you want to sell something, the broker will buy it from you at the BID price. All right. The ASK is the price at which your broker will sell the base currency in exchange for the quote currency. This means the ASK price is the best available price at which you can buy from the market. Another word for ASK is the offer price. So if you want to buy something, the broker will sell it to you at the ask price. All right. What is spread? The difference between the BID and the ASK price is known as the spread. On the EUR versus USD quote above, the BID price is 1.34568 and the ASK price is 1.34588. Look at how this broker makes it so easy for you to trade away your money. If you want to sell EUR, you click sell and you will sell EURs at 1.34568. If you want to buy EUR, you click buy and you will buy EURs. At 1.34588. Below they got an illustration of what they're talking about. All right. So we got the base currency on the left side, counter or quote currency on the right side. We got a bid, BID price on the left, ASK price on the right, and then we got the pips. All right. Now wasn't that easy, y'all? Let's get a season. See and pray for sure. Chit chat. Peace out. Party law.